pictures would really give them an idea of the use of indigo over the years. Um, everybody loves blue quilts, and as we know, blue and white quilts, as you can see on this back wall, I mean, they're just ubiquitous. You see them throughout quilt history, really. Um, and so we really wanted to give our visitors an idea of why blue has been so important in American quilt making and uh, American textiles in general, Western textiles, really, in general. Um, so we wanted to show them a, a, a brief history of the use of indigo. And to start with, we had to sort of uh, let them know that indigo is a really difficult dye to work with. Um, it's insoluble in water, so you can't just sort of drop it into a, a dye bath and, and it'll dissolve. You have to use chemicals to do it. Um, so, for instance, one of the earliest uh, forms of direct dyeing of indigo onto fabric was called pencil blue, and they had to use arsenic to get the indigo to be soluble. As you can imagine, arsenic's not so good for health, especially for those uh, printers and, and painters who were licking the end of their brush oh. every time to get that nice fine point. So arsenic, mm, not so good. Pencil blue was sort of a short-lived, uh, <laughs> in many ways, a short-lived technique. Um, and it was not so accurate either because oxygen, um, the indigo, as soon as it hits oxygen, it becomes soluble again. It becomes permanent. So uh, the arsenic would delay that process, but not for very long. So